Downtown Al is a new comedy drama film that is now available to check out on digital and I wanted to check out this film because Vanessa Hudgens stars in it and I haven't seen her in a film in a while and I've got to say after I watched this film it was a big mistake checking this out. In 1983, Al, North Dakota, the lives of three residents, elderly Horace, who spends his afternoons in the local coffee shop, teenage Mitch, depressed backup quarterback, star player Power Horse, and newly appointed high school English teacher Julia, along with those of the town's other residents, are upended by a historic blizzard. The film stars Lily Rabb, Ed Harris, Vanessa Hudgens, Jack Dylan Gracer, Finn Woodrock, and Henry Golden, and was directed by Hamish Linklater and Lily Rabb, and this is both their directorial debuts. Went into Downtown Owl, I did see a trailer for this film some months ago, and I honestly forgot about it. I didn't even know what the plot, what this film actually was going into this. I just knew that it was coming out on digital this week, and the fact that Vanessa Hudgens was in it, I was like, yeah, I gotta check it out, because it's been a while since I've actually seen her in a film. Now, the cast here is the biggest draw here. You know, Ed Harris, he's been in Love Lies Bleeding recently, you have Henry Golden, who's been in Crazy Rich Asians, Nessa Hudgens, she's been in a bunch of Disney shows, and she's somebody that has always kind of been there. Even though she's not in the biggest movies, she's always there. So you have a cast here that is a big draw to the film. And I have to say, for both directors being their directorial debut, I do see their ambition here as far as the camera work and trying to do something a little bit different with the camera. I can definitely appreciate that about the film. The fact that it takes place in a small town in North Dakota and you have this woman named Julia going to be an English teacher and just trying to fit in. She has a really tough time really relating to her students. They don't really volunteer in class. They don't actually answer her questions. And she just has a really tough time really even teaching the class. So she's really stressed out. She meets Vanessa Hudgens. They go out to this local bar and they start drinking. They start partying, letting loose. She has all these guys that are hitting on her and she's really taken back by that. They want her to go see the latest movie, E. E.T. because back then this takes place in 1983 and E.T. was a big hit around those times. So that was really cool that they actually threw that little tidbit in there. She does meet a guy where she's really interested in actually having a relationship with him and going out on dates with him. Although I will say that the chemistry between her and Henry Golden in this film, I thought it was pretty non-existent. I thought that they didn't have any chemistry. I thought he was really blab with his line delivery his character personality was kind of boring and that's just maybe because of how the script was actually written the movie is super bloated there is a lot of characters here you have ed harris playing a character named horace where he just hangs out at the local coffee shop he also talks about this quarterback that used to be at the school who was famous for playing a very well game but never went on to the pros you have another quarterback that is now present at the school who is going through a little bit of growth in pains, some issues with the teacher and the football coach, and he also is having trouble actually falling in love with this one girl in which they break up, and that really falls onto where I'm going to go into talking about the editing, because the editing of this film is kind of all over the place. A lot of scenes are just kind of thrown together, but don't really add a lot of value to the story. It's just showing little bits and pieces of certain characters that you don't really get to know throughout the story so there isn't a lot of emotional impact when certain scenes actually go down. The music was also kind of weird too because there is a lot of western music in here and I was thinking since it's the 80s shouldn't we have some 80s jams in here? Something popular during that time period because we just have a bunch of western music and I was like this just doesn't really fit with the vibe of the movie. I thought it was completely off and I have no clue why they actually chose that. Vanessa Hudgens, she honestly looks like the only one that really looks like someone that would be in the 80s with her hairstyle. Some of the jackets that she's wearing, there's one jacket that she's wearing that really reminded me of a Michael Jackson type jacket. And then she has that black leather jacket that she has in her attire as well. But I didn't feel like anybody else in their attire and their clothing or their hair, I didn't feel like it really 
screamed the 80s. So I think they really did miss the mark in the 80s aesthetic here. Now I will admit I was definitely on board with the story for the first 35 minutes. I was like, okay, small town. There's some chuckles to be had here. I mean, it wasn't like diehard hilarious or anything like that, but I definitely had some chuckles and I was like, okay, maybe this will go into a decent direction. And then it gets to that 40 minute mark and it really starts to take a nosedive. The direction of the story was just kind of all over the place. It started to get really messy. And let's mention the plot about the blizzard. Now, obviously I read that there is a blizzard that goes down in the plot. The blizzard happens in the last 15 minutes of this film. You have Julia who gets stuck in the snow and you have Horace that gets stuck in the snow. They're both driving, the blizzard is going crazy. And then they turn to the camera because there is a camera that is pointed up at them in the passenger seat. They turn to the camera and we start having basically what I would call a commercial. They start talking about what you should not do in the snow different little things of, oh shit, I'm stuck in the snow. What should I do? I felt like I was watching a Geico car commercial. I was like, I cannot believe that this is the route that we're actually going with this snowstorm. It wasn't funny. I don't know if it was meant to be funny. It was just flat out stupid that they even had that within the last 15 minutes of the film. And this is supposed to be a part of the plot. You would think that would be something really scary or something really dramatic during that time with the actual fear of having being snowed in and being stuck in the snow but they make it into a commercial i was like i cannot believe that this is actually going down and by the time the film actually wraps up there's so many open-ended things that don't actually get resolved and the ending not for me it didn't work at all i was like i cannot believe that this is the way that the film chooses to end and i'm telling you right now i really think that two directors like this, especially directors that are on their first film, I really think they needed to scale back on the characters. They need to make the story a little bit simpler because it's just too messy. There's too many things really going on. It doesn't mesh well. Maybe have a couple character arcs for a couple characters and give them some development, give them some direction. This film lacks so much direction that it was completely frustrating by the time this film actually ended. So as far as the score for this film, I'm going to give it a one and a half out of five because I did laugh a little bit and I was on board for a little bit. But as far as the direction, the story, and just keeping me engaged throughout and just wondering where the story was going to actually go, I just, I wasn't on board. This just was not it. And unfortunately, I just cannot recommend this film. But if you have checked out this film, I want to know what you guys thought about it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you just think it was kind of meh? And if you haven't checked it out, are you going to check it out now that it's on digital? Leave any and all comments down below. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you guys next time.